collectible. This is a poster that was done for an opera. And a French artist did it. A French artist. And um, it could be a very collectible piece. It could be a very collectible piece if you're interested. Yeah. The uh, I don't know. I'm I'm not going to charge him a collectible. I don't know. But the guy was European. That's why I don't know. Okay. Oh wait a minute. I do. This is a what a Wolverine. Okay. This is an Art Deco poster. Right, a mm -hmm. limited edition. Limited edition. What does it say on it? Looking Deco. Looking, July looking Deco. I think. This, is, this is a poster that used to sell in... Not a poster, it's a limited edition print. It's a limited edition print that sold in Bloomingdale's. Yeah. Actually, I like that. A whirly gig. A what? It's, it's a whirly gig. He used to do... Prince of Whirly Gigs. Ah, okay. Denise bought a lot of her work. They liked her work. What is this? Who's Mary it? Faulkner. She was the head. She was the head of the graphic department at uh, Vogue magazine, I think. This is a print. A, a limited edition. A limited edition print. By Mary Faulkner. By Mary Faulkner, who was the art director at Vogue I magazine. Think Vogue. She lived on Sutton Place. I remember. Oh. This is not for me, but thought it might be for you since it's your generation. Who is this one, Jean? Uh, Anderson. Is his name. Okay, what is this one, Jean? This is I put Mark. Say, let me see, Mark Saban. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to. Boy, I'm going back so many years. I never can read their handwriting, damn it. Barbara will remember it. She okay. Too. I can't read their handwriting. But it's a hand done lithograph. It's a hand done lithograph. And he has a funny story. At Art Expo, he, uh, every, all the artists were there vying for work from the publishers to be published. Uh huh. And he walked over to Alan Rettinger's stand, which was his fancy place with leather chairs, and all the publishers were sitting around it drinking champagne. And he walked and he stood he walked in and he just climbed up on the table and he dropped his pants and he says, Now you have something to talk about and he walked away. They all gave him work. Oh my god, that's so funny. Alright. This is an abstract and it's by Yasha Green. Yeah, he was a sculptor. He was a sculptor. A fairly well-known one, too. Yeah. These are all limited edition. Uh, who is this, Jane? Aldo Luongo. Oliver, oh, Aldo Luongo. And yeah, he's a poster. It's a poster. But hand-done. Hand-done poster. And you said something about him in the White House? Oh, yeah, you show it all over the place. You can, he has a big site online. A lot of these people are online. Okay. This is a hand done poster. It's um, Barbara was Barbara and I were hired to reproduce 18th century artwork by hand, not photographic. And it was called Litho Verite, the Truth of Lithography, and that was for Park South Gallery. Okay. That was in the Carnegie Hall building. All right, this is a more expensive piece, done by who? Jack Beale. Jack Beale. Okay, he's, so his yeah, his well known. Okay, Rob, this is a very modern piece. Hands on with the ground. It uh, is very colorful. Probably would look good. One of your walls. All right, this is the same artist. This one is of a bear. His name is Hubbard, is that it? Hubbard. Yeah. Hubbard. And he used to show at the Kennedy Galleries? Mm -hmm. and... oh really? Yeah. Dennis Anderson. Yeah. Who was out in which synagogue? Uh, right here in Catskill. In, in Catskill. Oh, yeah. the Reform Synagogue. His boyfriend is at uh, Mark. Yeah. Mark? I, I don't know. I'm I not sure who I know who he is. Uh, at our synagogue. They thought he was going to be president for a while. 
Oh, that's isn't Steve. that Steve? Steve, Steve Sachs. Yeah. Oh, you talking about Steve? Yeah, Steve. That, uh, that's his partner. Ah. Uh, well, it's, it says, tell me what this is, Jane. Robert Sandella. And this is Broom, Broom Street Bar. And all the characters in it are actually based on people. Even though they look weird, they are weird. <laughs> okay, let me take a photo. Wait. You know, tell me about this one. This is Red Grooms. It's a poster for a play, off Broadway play. And he's, he's His father in law is, Red, is uh, Han Gross. And Barbara says, Oh my God, your daughter married him? And he said he grabbed his head. He says, Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. But he's a, he's a museum artist. Okay, this is the same guy who did the wool ride that we saw earlier. Yeah. And this is and obviously Deer. Claus Holy, I think. I have to read what it. What is it? I think his name is Claus Holy. I have to read it. Okay. What this is? It's a poster for uh, a musical, uh, you know, a chamber music orchestra probably, at down in the, down at the, at the Cape, and um, Cape Cape Cod. Uh, probably. I, yeah. And so um, he would do posters at times. And What's his name? Jim Dine. He's a Jim. medium artist. He, he's good. I like him. This is Hubbard again, obviously. A horse or a mule? What is it? <laughs> you know. Okay. This is one of Jean's, and it is. It's they wanted a fantasy thing of the Hudson River in the mountains, so they didn't want it realistic. So uh huh. This is a limited edition lithograph, and I have some limited edition lithograph. I think yeah. we did three hundred copies. Okay. In our dining room. This is. It's an Art Deco hand reproduction of a poster that we did for Carnegie South Gallery. And, um, and well, they this, did the this love poster, L-O-V-E like this. This is S-S, this is S-H-I-T. Instead of love. Instead of love. And it's very abstract. I don't know that anybody would read it immediately. I didn't, but it's colorful. This, this is, is not a reproduction. This is a real piece. It's war bonds from World War II. Oh, this is a little more expensive because it is antique. It is a little. How much more expensive? I don't know. I'm, it's not much, but I'd sell it for about seven. Frame it. If he'll frame it and yeah, sell it for more. seven. Okay. What no, is this one? No dagger. No dagger. I think he. We Barbara and I thought he. We, he worked for the CIA. Because he was always in combat places drawing as an artist, and it got to be so often they said, "Wait a minute, this guy has more to him than meets the eye." Edition lithograph, Dolly's publisher published this. Salvador uh, Dolly's publisher published this. It's a limited edition. Okay, these are without frame, Robin. With the frame. They really, would be much, much larger. Yeah. This is by who? By Talis. He did this piece. This is a, the U.S. flag as a watermelon. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. The best, best story about him was that he, he was from Morocco and he wore a black cape. And he went out with another artist on the weekend. And I saw the other artist and I said, um, how was your evening? He says, well, at the end of the evening, two in the morning, we went to his carriage house uptown, like on the 80s, uh -huh. 80s. And when we got out of the cab at the corner, two in the morning, we started to walk and a cab stopped at the other end of the block and a man got out with a cape. And then they looked at each other and pointed and they started walking down the middle of the street. And when they got about 20 feet from each other, they both drew. Neither one of them had guns. It was Jules Brunner. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, they said good night, and they walked away. That was funny. Yeah. Robert, this is Jean's. It's a landscape. No, you said you weren't interested in paintings, but just let you look antique at his work. Frame. It's an antique frame. It's very large, and it's quite beautiful, and uh, around $5,000. It would sell for oh, way over that, 10, 10 15, I'm guessing. It would sell between 10 to 15. 
you know, in one of the galleries. The frame itself would be probably about three to four. The frame itself is worth three to four thousand. Probably easily. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's quite lovely. I thought you might want to look at it. Expensive. But Robert, these are Barbara's paintings of what she has left of the boxers, and I had told you about them. I don't know if you're interested, they're regular paintings, or if you have a place for these. Okay.